Hello, I'm Christina from Milan Creative Co and in this tutorial I want to show you an easy way to make seamless patterns in Photoshop using the seamless pattern fix. The seamless pattern fix is a Photoshop action made by Pink Coffee that you can find on Creative Market. The download link is in the video description. I received a free copy to test and review and I have to tell you that I'm really impressed by how easy it is to use and how much time you save. This is the pattern I'm going to make. It's a very simple floral pattern made with some illustrations I drew in Illustrator. Open Photoshop and create a new document. Now let's take a look at the seamless pattern fix. When you download the action, you will have a folder with the Photoshop actions and two guides that will help you install and use the seamless pattern fix. We have here three Photoshop actions. The first is the seamless pattern fix that will help us create seamless patterns. The second is a Photoshop action that will help us copy and move our items. If you're familiar with Illustrator, this is similar to the Move tool. And then we have another action that will help us rotate and reflect the actions. If you're not familiar with Photoshop actions, they are a series of steps that have been saved and can be reapplied at any time. That means you will be able to save a lot of time because you won't have to do the same action over and over again. You just have to press a button. To install the seamless pattern fix, you first have to go to Window Actions to open the Actions panel. Then click on the menu and select Load Actions. Then go to the folder where you have your actions and click on the action you want to load. So I'm going to load the seamless pattern fix first. As you can see, we have here a series of actions and if you want to see them better, you can go back to the menu and click on button mode. This will simplify the panel and it's easier to use. Now I'm going to load the other two actions. I have to tell you that I don't normally use Photoshop actions to make patterns. That's because most of the actions I tried were kind of buggy and made Photoshop lag and I didn't like that. But this one is different, it works really well, it's fast and it makes pattern design in Photoshop similar to Illustrator and that's something I really like. And if you use a lot of watercolors, I suggest using Photoshop and getting this action. So let's see how it works. I have this floral arrangement that I made in Illustrator and I saved it as a transparent background thing. And I'm just going to open it in Photoshop and resize it. I think that's enough. And then I'm going to press enter on my keyboard to save it. If we take a look at this pattern, you can see that I have a kind of grid layout and with these small flowers between the illustrations. So I want to move this to the edges of my canvas and I'm going to use the seamless pattern fix for that. First, I want to make a copy of this illustration and then move it to the top left corner. So I'm going to use the copy and move Photoshop action. Let's open the actions panel. You have to make sure that the illustration you want to move is selected. You can see that I have it selected in the layers panel. And then I am going to go to the copy and move action. And I'm going to go to the second action, that's copy and move. And then move it minus 50% left. You can see it creates another copy and it's um, at the edge of my canvas. And then I am going to go to the move action and move it 50% up. And I have this in the corner just like I want it to be. I could have done this manually because it's not really hard, but if I use the Photoshop action, the space between the illustrations will be the same and I don't have to use the align panel or just calculate the space between them. As you know, when we make seamless patterns, we need to keep in mind that everything that's on the left side of the canvas needs to be on the right side and everything that's up, all the illustrations that we can not see over here have to be down. When we make patterns using the manual method, we usually add the illustrations in the middle of the canvas, making sure that they are not going over the edge of the canvas like this one is. And then we would use the offset filter. But with this Photoshop action, we don't have to use that. So just select the illustration that you want to move, then open the actions panel and 
go to the seamless pattern fix. Now here we have a few options, move to the edge and we can move it left, right, up or down or copy to the edge. So right now I want to show you copy to the edge. So I want to move this from the left side to the right side. Well, not these illustrations, but all the items that we can't see on the canvas. So make sure the layer is selected and just click on copy right. And you can see all the other illustrations are now to the right. And you can also select both of them and copy them down. But I want to show you my favorite part of this Photoshop action and that's the corner fix. So I'm going to delete this layer. I'm going to select the other layer and then I'm going to go to the corner fix. And here you can move the items that are in the corner. So they are going over the left edge and over the top edge. You can move it to all the corners. So just click from top left and as you can see, it will create copies on all the corners in just a few seconds. So let's take another look at the floral pattern. You can see the sum of these illustrations are upside down and we still have to add the flowers between them. So I'm going to show you the rotate and reflect action. If you want, you can use the move tool. Check auto select and make sure layer is selected and then click on the illustration you want to move. When you do that, the layer will be selected so you don't have to work with the layers panel. Now open the actions and go to rotate and reflect. You can use this to reflect your illustrations or to rotate them. Let's use the rotate option. Okay, this is how I want it to be. The seamless pattern fix also has an option to preview your pattern. This will help you a lot with testing it. So just go to preview repeat and then you can click on preview at 50% or 25%. I like to use 25% and we'll have to wait for it to create the pattern and you can see this is how our pattern looks without the flowers. I want to show you something else. If you make the background invisible, then click on the preview. It will automatically select the color or the background and you can double click on the background layer and choose a different color. Now I'm going to close this layer and then I'm going to add the small flowers to the pattern. Just going to drag them into Photoshop and then resize each one and arrange them on the canvas. Now I'm going to have to create a few copies of this and I like to use the rotate and reflect tool. I usually use the reflect option. It will make it seem like I have more flowers than I actually do. Now let's copy these two flowers from the left edge to the right edge. So I'm going to go to copy to edge and just click on copy right. And as you can see, I have them over here. And now I'm going to copy these two from the top to the bottom of the canvas. I like to use the preview option to see um, how the pattern looks and you can see I have some small gaps over here that I might need to fill. I think it's this area over here and let's use a green one. Let's test it again. I still have a gap over here and I think it's here, so I'm going to use another gold flower. Okay, let's preview the pattern again. I think this looks about right, so I'm going to close these windows. If you want, you can actually save the preview and it usually is a seamless pattern tile. 
To save your seamless pattern tile, you can go to File, Export, Export As, and save your file as a PNG or JPEG file. Another way to save it is by saving it as a Photoshop file. So you can go to Edit, Define Pattern, give it a new name, and then click OK to save it. To test it, just create a new file. And I'm going to create one that's larger than my canvas and then go to edit, fill and select your pattern and click OK. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to purchase the seamless pattern fix, you can find it on Creative Market. Just go to the video description and click on the link. Thanks for watching.